看见一些个。Welcome again to another video of our homeschool study and today we will share with you some steps that we're currently doing to encourage your child to practice writing more. I use five steps in teaching her how to write. So first is the dots, second is the lines, third curves, fourth mazes, and then fifth is the shapes. And then these are the materials that we use on our first step. So first step is to introduce dots. So connect the dots uh, materials. So hindi ka good kami gumamit ng workbook. Ang ginamit namin is this drawing book from National Bookstore. Tapos ang ginawa ko, gumamit ako ng puncher. Tapos, I paste it here. Tapos binigang siya na instruction to connect it from one point to another and then here to the next point. Tapos, habang tumatagal, habang tumatagal, nagiging confident siya to connect those dots. Tapos, dinadamihan ko na rin yung mga dots na pinipaste ko dito para mas marami siyang i-coconnect. Tapos, nung na-feel ko or nakita ko na confident na siya to do this, Nung nakita ko na medyo mabilis na siyang mag-connect ng dots dito sa um, drawing book na to, saka ko pinakita sa kanya or pinagamit sa kanya itong mga dot-to-dot um, -dot workbook namin. So, uh, we have two sets ng dot-to-dot activities kasi um, mabilis din naman, mabilis niya rin kasi gawin or matapos yung isang, um, isang workbook. So, Let's see, Mira. She's a simple. That connect the dots. Tapos I'm also letting her to use um color pencil. Ah, in in connecting these dots. So yeah, di to kasi mas simple kasi di to next stage sa five. Tapos as you go along, nagiging mas na madami yung numbers. So your first activity is yung five. Tapos di to magiging ten na yung dots na kailangang iconnect. For lines, we use this um, flashcard to introduce yung different lines. So we have your horizontal line at sya ka diagonal line. Tapos, dito muna yung pinapractice. Tapos kapag confident na siya, I gave her these worksheets from our online resources to practice it more. Then, para mas matipid sa papel, we also have these tracing diagonal lines or tracing lines uh, worksheets coming from our laminated workbook. So, here, um, dotted lines, and then the other side, she'll draw it on her own. As meron coming um, different examples for here, diagonal lines, and then we also have for horizontal lines, and then vertical lines. For the curves, we have the same materials. So, I know curves are lines as well. Medyo mas may effort lang para sa bata na i-draw or isulat yung lines na to. So, here we have some curved lines, wavy line, wave line, wiggle line, zigzag, and castle lines. So, after, uh, then, same thing, after nang, nang gawin, gawin sa flashcard, we'll do it on our worksheets to practice it more from our online resources. And then, we also have here 
some laminated uh, more treats coming from our, uh, our workbook as well. We have tracing curved lines going up and then tracing curved lines pa baba. Tapos meron din tayong tracing wavy lines. And then we also have tracing zigzag lines. To practice it more, meron coming two sets of this and then another set of wavy lines. Tapos, for our fourth steps, we have mises. And ito yung materials na ginagamit namin for this e writing exercises. So, we all know naman that um, mises are a combination of all lines. Tapos, it also helps to develop problem-solving skills. Then for our last steps, we do have shapes. And this is the materials that we're using for tracing shapes. So we all know that uh, shapes are actually part of our homeschool routine, which is every Thursday. So every Thursday, we have tracing activities on shapes using this. And uh, other materials that we have is our, on, uh, our worksheets from our online resources. And that's how we do our writing exercises. Hope you like the video and you could also share it with your child. See you next video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to channel.